We are looking at some warm and humid weather for the Honda. Uh, the next few days, uh, temperatures in the mid 80s, lots of sunshine, low rain chances. Remember last year, if you were at the Honda on Sunday, we had that uh, just bizarre rainstorm that fired up uh, just in that one area uh, for the uh, final few holes. This year, that looks very unlikely. If you Saw this last night. You'll probably want to check it out again tonight. And you didn't see it, definitely go outside. It's a crescent moon, uh, Venus and Jupiter in the sky. This was sent in by Michael, one of our weather spotters. Tonight, the moon will be in a little different position, very close to Jupiter. Venus will be there too. Look toward the west. Any time between 7 and 8 o'clock tonight, you should have great viewing. We hardly have any cloud cover. We're looking at temperatures cooling off into the mid 70s. And it was a beautiful beach day. We have more of that on the way for tomorrow too. Sunshine returns and uh, this evening evening sunset just happened a couple of minutes ago. Temperatures now are in the 70s, still some mid 80s and the rain chances are very low tonight, tomorrow and right into the weekend. The hour by hour forecast clear sky and as I said, mid 70s, even through 10 and 11 o'clock. We end up in the 60s to the mid 70s for overnight lows. This is warm for this time of year. Our normal daytime high is around 77, 78. So we are running about five to seven degrees above normal. And when you start off around 70 degrees, it doesn't take long to get up into those mid 80s. Beach weather returns tomorrow. We'll have a breeze coming in from the southeast, gusty winds. I think a little challenging for the bear trap holes at the Honda. And that high sits just off the coast through Saturday and Sunday. So the weather pattern really doesn't change much at all. Nice beach and boating day. Sees about one to two and a light chop for the inland waters. Overnight forecast 65 with some patchy fog possible on the Treasure Coast. We've had uh, dense fog advisories for the last uh, nights and early mornings. 86 tomorrow. Almost 10 degrees above where we should be and 80s right into the weekend. Honda through the weekend. We also have a Lake Worth Street Painting Festival going on. And we have, uh, again, no break from the heat, at least for the next week, maybe even the next week and a half. The long range models show a front possibly coming in the, that following Friday or early Saturday. So it's a long way off. All right, thank you. Well, this next story, who knows? It could be one of my neighbors. <laughs> a winning Fantasy Five ticket was sold at the Publix at Loxahatchee. Yeah, you never know, Michael. On Seminole Pratt Whitney Road, last night's drawing worth just over $29,200. But there were five other winners, so they all have to split the winnings. The winning ticket in Loxahatchee was a quick pick. If you're one of my neighbors, I want dinner, please. <laughs> You're going to be checking them all <laughs> Right. Out. Now, here's a look at what's coming up for you in primetime right here on News Channel 5. Honda Classic kicks off tomorrow. Warm and humid. Lots of sunshine, though. I don't think we're going to see any rain delays the next four days. And uh, across our area, it is warm through the next week into the weekend. Breeze coming in along the ocean. It is a beautiful beach and boating weather, but uh, it'll toasty. Stay hydrated in the afternoon.